Hey guys, going for another classic overview. I haven't done much of these for a while and started them, but then the holidays came, so let's get back into them and see see how we go. So we're going through the four stars at the moment. We've done Wu, Tusk, and Cyprian, Cyprian, however you say that last one. Um, so today we'll go through another favourite of mine. Um, your classic mana uh, slower. Uh, if we can find him, probably most of you've had a guess. The big guy, Little John. So, if you're not lucky enough to nab Proteus or another mana controller out there, then he's going to be your go to. And for me, that's always been him. I haven't been able to get really anybody else. So. He gets a few emblems on my side, he gets me through my vents very easily with boss slows. Can help get through farming pretty fast, high tire damage, fast animation. Um, yeah, he's a slow character for the special, but you don't need that too much. Um, doesn't matter too much when you can use the mana pots and whatnot. Um, rating wise, probably not not the best hero. Very fragile. Um, you take him in as a, a tile stack and and hope that he doesn't get targeted. He's, he's more there for the tile damage if you're going to raid with him early on in the early days. But you probably. Um, not use them anymore once you build up a little bit. So my one just has the seven into it, makes them a little bit sturdier um, for a bit of content, especially as it gets a bit harder and season three coming up. Um, as application of use, so let's go. I had a quick look before for something. So let's find a few blues. Um, that'll do. And we'll just whip through and see how how he's used for a boss. How you'd slow it down if the boss. I'll try not to kill the boss too fast. Mm -hmm. um, we need some greens first, but. That won't be a problem just yet. So we'll just clear this stuff really fast. Actually, I don't think Little John would one-shot the boss. Mm -hmm. I'll have to be careful with that. Um, so we'll just sneak through this. Uh, keeping him alive is going to be your, your main concern if he starts to get targeted in those um, harder levels and things so just make sure you keep an eye on him at all times don't get distracted and you'll be alright so we're just going to tile damage this stuff down just so we can use little John Actually, all we need to use is Little John, we don't need the others. So, let's just pop them quickly. And don't need that diamond. Alright, so basically, you're going to get a minus 64 percent mana generation for three turns it's not many turns so you do want some sort of mana pots if you're doing events or harder content because you might not be able to get enough greens to get them going again um, and what can happen then okay so the boss can take a few hits as you start to see the mana generation on the boss is quite slow um, do I have any red? I don't want to try and kill the boss just yet, but he 
So it's just really helpful gain control over bosses. And that probably will kill him, but yeah, get the idea. So he's your mana control classic hero. Extremely good. Um, I would recommend him as one of your first if you can get him greens to, to level up. I know people love Cardamon, but you can use Sonya for that. Um, so good tile damage, a little bit hard to keep alive, but you'll figure him out. Rating wise, I won't bother with him. He's not that good for the rating. He's more your yeah, farming, get through stuff, tournaments, events, things like that um, when needed. So yeah, that's Little John. What do you guys think of him? If you're free to play, very good. Uh, that's my opinion. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks, guys.